Hare Krishna. The tenth verse of the first chapter of Bhagavad Gita, Duryodhana is trying to measure the army's strengths. His army against the army of Pandavas. So he's saying, Aparyaptam. It is immeasurable. What is immeasurable? Tadasmakam. My army's strength, Balam, is immeasurable. Why? Because Bhishma Abhirakshitam. It is protected by the great Bhishma Deva. But Paryaptam, it is very, very measurable. Whose strength? Paryaptam Tvidam Etesham. Their army, the Pandavas' army, is very measurable. Why? Because their Balam, their strength, comes from Bhima protecting them, Bhima Virakshita. So he's comparing the two people, Bhishma and Bhima. So he's saying, look at my commander-in-chief, that is Bhishma Dev. What all does he have? He has a special boon, a boon that has been given to him by his father Shantanu, that he will only die at the time that he wishes to die. Right? That is the equal strength that literally Dronacharya also had. So he's saying, look at these people on my side. You know, they're so powerful. And besides that, because of the celibacy, the celibate nature of Bhishma also, he's very, very strong. Right? Bhishma, his name itself, comes. Bhishma means one with a very terrible or, or fierce vow. He took a very um, great vow when his father wanted to marry Satyavati. He took a vow that he will not become the king. And he will also not get married so that his children will not get the uh, kingdom after him. That was the vow he, he took. For what reason? So that his father could get married to Satyavati. So the gods, before that his name was Devavrata, one who was very devoted to gods. And after this vow, he was called Bhishma, one with a fierce vow. And just like Lord Rama, he also kept his word because after that, Satyavati herself comes and requests that, you know, you should get married and you should get children because there is no progeny for the kingdom. He refuses completely. So he's remained celibate all his life. So because of this reason also, he's very, very strong personality. So for these reasons, uh, Duryodhana is saying, look at our strength. You know, I have Bhishmadev. And look at his qualities, look at his ability and the vows that he has. Come on, you know, our, my strength is immeasurable and we are very, very uh, carefully protected. But what happens? The strength of the Pandavas is not so much because it only comes from Bhima. Now Duryodhana has always been jealous or envious of Bhima because he knew that if there is anyone that can finish or kill Bish, uh, Duryodhana, it would only be Bhima nobody else. He had the equal strength of Duryodhana. So he was always scared, uh, fearful and also jealous of Bhima. And he also felt that in front of Bhishma Dev he's just like a fig, which is a fact. Because all these people, an ocean of army that he has against the few friends, relatives who have come to fight with on the Pandava side, it is comparatively not a very great army that the Pandavas had. But what Duryodhana forgot was the one person who was the strength of the entire Pandava army, which was Krishna being present on their side. So there is a story of how Duryodhana picked Krishna instead of the army, which I will give on the story session. Uh, but Duryodhana chose Krishna, uh, the Krishna's army instead of Krishna himself. And Arjuna was very happy to have Krishna on his side. So Srila Prabhupada talks about, uh, you know, this uh, gives an analogy beautifully. He says, our strength, fame, position, beauty, wealth, all that we have in life can be put as zeros that we have in our lives, right? But if we do not have the Lord on our side, who is like the one in front of all the zeros, then imagine... Imagine you have hundreds of millions of zeros written back to back, but there is no one in the front. Will those zeros have any value to it? Right? So Srila Prabhupada gives this beautiful analogy that Duryodhana had Bhishma, Drona, Shalya, Karna, the amazing so many that he's talking about Bahavaha, Shura, who are very, very courageous, very affectionate to me. Uh, they know the art of fighting and all of this. But unfortunately, 
he did not have Krishna on his side, who is the one which adds value to all these zeros that one has. And that's what the Pandava armies had. The same point Parikshit Maharaj is, is explaining later, he's saying, you know what, my grandfathers were like the Timi fish. Timi means whale. Timi fish, which is, you know, the Timi fish whale is like 100 feet long. Huge fishes they are themselves. Uh, so they were powerful people, but who were they fighting against? They were fighting against Timingala. Timingala is a fish which can swallow a few of the Timi fishes. So imagine how big the Timingala would be. So he's saying that uh, I know my grandfathers were very, very powerful, but more powerful than them were the people in the opposite army. But still, they won the war. And my grandfather Yudhishthira got the throne because he was on the side of Dharma. And so because of that, Lord Krishna protected him. And because Krishna was on their side, they won this war. So Parikshit is saying, how grateful am I to this great Supreme Lord who has protected us always. Kunti is talking about it. She's saying, oh Krishna, how many times have my children been put under so much stress test? But Krishna, you have always been there. She says, Hare He Abhirakshitaha. She's saying, Vishan, Mahagnehe, Purushada Darshanat, Asat Sabhaya, Vanavasa Krishrataha, Mrde Mrde Aneka Maharathastrato, Drauni Astra Tashchasma Hare He Abhirakshita. She's saying, My son was given poison. Then they were put under the Lak Palace where they were, you know, uh, uh, burnt in fire. And then there was a cannibal who was about to eat my son. And then we came back, we got the uh, uh, palace and we got our space back. But even after that, they were sent to the forest and then they were fighting a war. And after that, right now, Krishna, I'm standing in front of you. My great granddaughter, right? She has a child in her womb and Ashwatthama is trying to kill him. And even here, Krishna, you are protecting not just my sons, my son, my grandsons and my great grandson also, you are the one who is protecting. So it is a lesson that we have to learn that we can have so many uh, uh, zeros in our life, right? Our name, fame, wealth, strength, position, everything. But if that value has to be, if that, if those values need to have a, sorry, if those zeros need to have a value, that one has to be put in the front. So it is extremely important that we all remember that we keep Krishna right in the middle, right in the center of our lives, who makes it uh, very valuable and very meaningful. So to live a meaningful life, let us understand to live like the Pandavas and not like Duryodhana. So once again, the verse, he says, Duryodhana is saying, Aparyaptam, Idam asmakam balam bhishma birakshitam paryaptam tuvedam etesham balam bhima birakshitam. Hare Krishna.